Hello, I am your fast technical, and welcomes you. And I am Finn, ready to teach you. Let's begin. He, he, he. Hey, it's my channel. Hey guys, don't pay attention to him. He is dumb. Please let me speak in your video. I will speak little, little. Okay, but don't ruin my video. Now let's move on. Today we are starting a new series of 2D game making in Android. We will use Sketchware to do that. First, let's create a new project in Sketchware. Name it as your choice. Hey, why you are giving it such a simple name? Stop. Now we have to add package name. Package name stores our data. I said stop. Don't give it such a simple name. Let me change it. Hmm. What name will be based? Hmm. No, no, no. Give it Clash of Warriors. Danger Attack. Or Battle of Braves. What? War of Samurai? Whatever. Now it looks better. Please continue. Let me see what you can do. Add a name for our Sketchware project. Now add a game icon of your choice. I am using this old man. It looks amazing. By the way, it is created by me. Now let's start by clicking on Create button. Our project is created successfully. Let me do some settings in view, because we are making games so we have to hide the toolbar. Now it looks better. This will be our menu screen. Let's add a button which will take us to our game screen. We are creating a simple menu screen for now. Let's add a component, intent. Intent is mainly used for getting from one screen to another screen. Now let's add an event. When the button will click, we will go to game screen. How to do that? Let's open the blocks. Now in the component tab, place this intent blocks. These blocks are used to go from one screen to another. Oh no, we have to create a game screen first. Click on this plus icon. Now do the settings and name it as your choice. Now click on Add button. The game screen is created successfully. Now we can put it in our intent block. Now let's start working on game screen. First we will add a linear V. Then we will add a list view in it. And then image view for our character. List view will contain our tile map. Let's do some settings in list view. Set the divider height to zero because we don't want gaps between our tiles. Let's keep the padding to zero. Now our list view settings are done. Now let's start making tiles for our game by creating a custom view. I will make the tiles. First of all, let's create a custom view. Name it as map tiles. Now let's make the tiles in it. We are going to make a tile strip of linear H, which will contain seven tiles. So let's do that. We have added linear H. Now let's add Linear V as our tiles. Set 
Set the height and width of tile to 50. Now let's give each tile an ID. ID is an identity of every views. Oh no, we forgot the seventh tile. Let's add it. Now let's set the padding of our linear H to zero. Then it will look perfect strip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, done. As we have created a strip with seven ground tiles, now we have to add seven unit tiles in it. Because our ground tiles will contain the ground, such as grass, road, street, etc. and our unit tiles. With contain the units such as trees, enemy, rocks, etc. We will use image view as unit tiles, image view as unit. Add seven image view in seven ground tiles. Unit size and ground size should be similar. Hence, we have to set the padding of ground tile to zero. Set the height and width of image views to 50, similar to ground tile. Now we have to give ID for unit tiles, which is image views. We have created the tiles. Now let's get back to the game screen. Now set the custom view of our list view to the tile data which we have created now. Now let's move on and create a more block. Name it as Create Canvas. You can name it as your choice. Now click on this more block. Now let's create a list map, which will add the tiles to list. This block will add one strip in our list. and set the custom data to the list view by this block. Now let's get back and add this block on Create Activity.
like this. And remember to refresh the list view data by this block. Now everything is done, so let's run our project. As you can see, the tile strip have added successfully. As you know, we have created a tile strip. Hey man, I have made that tile strip. Okay, okay. You have created the tile strip. But we can't play the game on a single strip. We have to multiply it by seven to make a perfect game screen. So let's do it. We have to put repeat block in it. and set the repeat to seven. Hence, it will add the tile strip seven times. Put a clear list block also. Let's add a temporary image for our player. Set player height and width to 50. And set the scale type to fit center. And give ID as player. Now let's save the project and run it. Install it and then open it. As you can see, it has created a 7x7 seven seven map. Now let's work on the data of our tile map. First, let's create a ground data by creating a more block. Name the block as ground to canvas. Now add a share preference component from the list of variables. Name it as ground data and click on add button. Now, as you can see, a share preference component is connected with our block. Similarly, add two strings. Name as X and Y. Finally, add a view variable, name it as BG. By clicking the Add button, the block will be created successfully. Now we will add two share preference components. One will store our ground data. and second we'll store our unit data. Now go to list view on bind with custom data. Here we will create number variable named as current x. and one more number variable named as current Y. Current X and current Y are the coordinates of our player in the tile map. For example, if current X of our player is zero and current Y is also zero, then it will be written as zero underscore zero. Current X and current Y are the middle points in the tile map because our player will be in the middle of the screen. Now let's use our more block here. Select ground data in shared preferences, which we have created before. In the view option, select first tile of our strip. Now, if our current X is equal to three, then this will be four, this will be five, and this will be six. Similar, this will be two, this will be one, 
and this will be 0. If current x of our player is 0, then the other tile's coordinates will be like these. The first tile of our tile strip will be known as current x minus 3. Second tile will be current x minus 2. Third tile will be current x minus 1. Fourth tile will be current x only. Fifth tile will be current x plus 1, than plus 2, than plus 3. Now let's do that with our block. We will use to string without decimal block. We will place minus block in it. Then put current x before minus and write 3 after minus. In the second block, we will add current y. current y minus 3 plus position. Now copy this block 7 times, because we have 7 tiles in our strip. Now change the views to ground tile 2, ground tile 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Current x minus 2, minus 1, current x only. We will use plus block here instead of minus block. current x plus 1, current x plus 2, current x plus 3. Now everything is done. Let's go back and save it. I am back. Now let's add an image for grass. Do you know grass? That green color on the ground. Now let's go to the more block which Fast Technical have created. He taught me that how to do this. Now follow the steps which I am doing. If ground data position X and Y doesn't contain anything, then it should display grass image. Let's save it and run it. I think this will show us grass on the tile map. Yeah, it's showing grass. Now we have to do similar process for unit data also. Let's create a more block for unit data, just like we have created for ground data. We will add a share preference.
string X, string Y. But instead of view, we will add image view here. Block is created. Now let's go inside the block. Follow my steps. If unit data position X and Y doesn't contain anything, then its visibility should be zero. If unit data position X and Y contain something, then its visibility should be one, and it should show the image. Now on list view bind, we put that more block. And do the same steps like ground data. Now everything is done. Let's run it. As you can see, the Android robot image are not showing because there is nothing in unit data. Let's add something in our map. First, we have to add image. Let's add an image of rock. We will put this rock on our map. Go to On Create Activity. We will add rock in our unit data. Let's give a position for rock. Now here you have to type the exact name of your image. As you can see, we have putted the rock in our map, but it is very small. Let's fix it. Go to Custom View, where we have created the tile strip. Now set the image scale type to Fit Center. Do this for all seven images.
Now let's run it. As you can see, the rock is looking nice. Let's add one more rock. Change its position. Now let's run it. As you can see, there are two rocks in our map. Now it's time for our samurai to come. We have to set the position of Samurai in the middle of the map. How to do that? It's very simple. First, let's create a number variable tile size. Now set tile size to display width divided by 7. Now our player translation X will be tile size multiple by 3. And translation Y will be tile size multiple by minus 1.4. Now remove the gravity from the screen. Let's run it. Samurai is ready to fight. <laughs> 